What's up, YouTube? It's a Cine Tech Ninja back again with another video, and today we'll be doing an in depth review on Samsung Dual Audio, and I'll include all my speakers in this video. So, to be clear, this isn't a comparison video, so I won't be going over any specs besides Bluetooth. And also, speaking of speakers, the Anchor Sound Car Motion Boom, which I got last week, um, has a defect to it. So, I will be returning this, and I'll have it back in soon as possible. And there will be a sound test later on so you can get an idea on how to use Samsung Dual Audio. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So before I get started, I move the motion boom and the Jiggle boom box to the side so you can see me better. So what is a Samsung Dual Audio? Samsung Dual Audio is a Samsung exclusive software experience that allows you to pair two Bluetooth devices at the same time, such as the Jiggle Extreme 3 and Extreme 2 by establishing a connection to each speaker by using Bluetooth 5.0 and up. As long as they have the same Bluetooth profiles, they will play in sync. But if they don't, they will not. So going on to the devices that support Samsung Dual Audio, it is the Samsung Galaxy S8 to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Going to the Folds, we got the Samsung Galaxy Fold to the um, upcoming Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, which should be released in August, and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, also coming out in August. And going on to the tablets, we got the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and the upcoming S8 Ultra, but there is no still being links about the release date on that, so I will let you know. Oh yeah, and by the way, I do you know go over more stuff than just speakers in the future. So now we've got that out of the way, let's see on how to use Samsung Dual Audio. So on how to use Samsung Dual Audio, in this case I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 and my JBL Charge 3 and my JBL Charge 5. And the Charge 3 has Bluetooth 4.1, while the Charge 5 has Bluetooth 5.1. So that's a big jump when it comes to Bluetooth versions. So first thing you need to do is to turn on your Bluetooth. And as you do so, it will connect to both speakers. You gotta have them both on, obviously. Okay, so as you do that, you go to, let's wait for it to connect. There we go. You go to media and you hit the blue check mark on both to make sure the volume match and let's see. And that easily you can pair two Bluetooth devices at the same time. It could be headphones, speakers, wherever it is. But as long as you have the same Bluetooth profiles, you can do it with zero latency. And also, I'm using Samsung One UI 3.0, which everyone should already be updated to. So let's see on how the speakers sound together. Night, and city lights on the other side. You call me yeah. at the same time. I'm in the daylight. You calling the sun to say hi, but your words they go. If there's something that you need to say.
from that sound test, so hopefully y'all enjoy that. But like I said before, Samsung Dual Auto does have its downfall. So if your devices don't have the same Bluetooth profiles, they will not um, play the same. So I'm going to give you a quick example of that using the Home Card on Studio 7 and the Anchor Sound Card Motion Boom. Let's get it. between the speakers and also if you was wondering if you can use JBL particle speakers to JBL Connect Plus speakers while have on their parent protocols well unless you want a real big latency you can't because as soon as you turn on JBL particles or Connect Plus our latency has automatically been generated now Samsung Dual Audio isn't perfect because if you don't have the same two profiles like I said before they won't play in sync or sometimes you might switch apps and go back to you know your, your music app and they'll be out of sync or you may, you may lose range or just an error has occurred and speaking of range it is your, your speaker's native um bluetooth range so around 50 feet give or take some so going off that topic I will be doing a questions and ask. So you can ask me personal questions, my questions for the future, or just in general, within reason, of course. And I will be hitting you know, 4,000 watch hours pretty soon. And as I don't know, I'm not monetized yet. So I'm not getting paid for any videos I'm doing right now from companies or in, from YouTube. So please subscribe, help me get to 1,000 subscribers and I can be able to do this for the long run and not the short run. So besides for that, I truly thank you for watching. This has been the Cine Tech Ninja. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.